Hey, what is up internet? Kyle here, Slapshot Toys, doing another toy hunt video for you today. And I'm super excited today because I'm actually going down and checking out a brand new store. Well, not actually a brand new store, but a store that I have never been to. And that is Road to the Past Collectibles in Chevy, Ohio. From pictures and stuff that I'm seeing online, it looks like they do have quite a bit of the old Kenner Batman figures, which as you guys know, I'm all about that. And it does look like they have some of the legends of Batman figures. So hopefully they still have them and I'm able to add a few more of those to my collection. But I'm just gonna take you guys along and show you everything that the store has to offer and hopefully they have a lot of cool stuff but first i had to make a quick stop here to the post office just because i needed to check my p.o box and then we're going to head down to road of the past collectibles <laughs> So here we are, Road to the Past Collectibles. We're gonna go in, take a look, see what they have. All right, so we are inside Road to the Past Collectibles. And as you can see behind me, there is just everything everywhere. So I'm gonna try to give you guys kind of in a good overall comprehension of everything that they have here. But uh, yeah, this is just awesome. So a ton of Kenner stuff I'm already seeing for Batman, but uh, we'll give you kind of a good, just overview. So. Let's get to it. All right, so one of the first things that's catch my eyes, one of the Legends of Batman, super wheelie motorcycles there from Kenner. And just kind of coming through here, just a lot of eclectic stuff. So we have like some Dark Waters figures, we have some Flintstones figures right there. There's Mission Impossible, some chips, some Simpsons, WWE, WWF, Earthworm Jim, some of the Reaction Terminators, well, and then some Marvel Legends right here some of the dc multiverse figures from mattel and then some more wwe fantastic four and just kind of random stuff over there and then come over to these shelves we have some pops some spider-man again just some pops over here some power rangers here on like actual kind of like protective cards got a rob zombie spawn figure right there and then some NECA with the Karate Kid and Gremlins. And then we have the Muhammad Ali and Superman two pack. Some Strawberry Shortcake up here. Some Wizard of Oz figures. And then they do have the classic TV show Batman and Catwoman. So let's kind of take a look at that. Oh, that actually looks freaking awesome. That's actually a really cool figure. And then let's take a look at the Catwoman as well, if we can real quick. Again, that just looks really, really awesome for kind of like a Barbie style Catwoman figure. And then up here at the top, looks like some Universal Monsters, Dracula, Family Opera, Frankenstein, Ghost of Frankenstein, Freddy, Jason. So quite a bit up there. So up here we have some Miko Batman, some of the Batman Begins, Mattel figures, some of the Batman vs Superman figures right there. They do have the Toy Boys Batman, which I actually have on card. And then coming down here, some of the Toy Biz Marvel figures. All right, so one of the things I'm definitely interested in here is the Jet Foil from Batman Returns there in box. And then another set that they have is the Bad Jet up there from the 89. Dark Knight collection, that'd be really cool to have. And then they do have the Bat Cycle and Batmobile from the Toy Biz collection, which would be awesome to have. So I completely miss this, my first little run. So here we have a ton of Kenner figures. So we have some Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, but the ones I'm most interested in, the Legends of Batman. So kind of seeing here, they do have the Desert Knight Batman. I think I'm probably gonna pick him up. I do have the Night Quest Batman, the Riddler, the Pirate Robin, Catwoman and the Cyborg Batman, the Pirate Joker, and the Normal Joker. The another thing here they have here in the corner hiding there, if you guys have watched my recent videos, I am addicted to Tweeterhead now, and they do have the Batgirl statue. That's definitely something that uh, I'm interested in picking up here today. So coming over in this case, you do have quite a few loose Batman figures. So you have the Ornament, you have the Superpowers Joker, you have some Hot Wheels, Diecast, Batmobiles. Over here you do have some Batman Robin figures, some of the Batman Returns, Kenner figures loose. Some Lego minifigures, again, some more Hot Wheels, some of the animated series, Kenner figures loose. 
And then come up here, some more returns. And it looks like 89 Kenner figures lose. All right, so then we have in this kind of case right here, some statues. And then we have some Transformers loose all throughout here. I'll be very honest with you. I don't know my Transformers all that well, but I would assume that these are some pretty rare figures here. And then coming down here, we have some legends and build a figures so again just give you guys a really good look at everything they have there and then coming down we kind of have some dinosaurs not the baby and then just some kind of i don't know just some old vintage dolls and different figure sets all throughout here so you have some loose legends up here on the roof which looks really cool down in their counter here, they have some DC statues. So you can see the BBS Batman, Superman, a couple other statues all throughout there. I want to give you guys just a quick look here on the back wall here. They have a ton of G.I. Joe loose figures. A lot of these, as you can see here, actually have the information card. These are all just straight loose with the assorted accessories. And then right here, they have quite a few of the G.I. Joe vintage carded figures and even some of the vehicles. So you see there, there's a Cobra Knight landing boat and then the Hiss, um, the Battle Below Zero and a couple other vehicles all throughout there. And just a quick little scan of this horror section right here. But here in this case, they have some of the Beetlejuice carded Kenner figures. This really takes me back to like my childhood and watching the Beetlejuice cartoon. They even have like the vehicle there with the Phantom Flyer and then the gross out meter. So <laughs> really pretty cool stuff here. And they kind of come down through here, a couple more of the Beetlejuice figures. And then they have some of the Kenner Police Academy figures, which once again, if you guys watch my Great Ohio Toys show, it's definitely some figures that I had as a kid. And I absolutely love those. And then here's just a kind of quick little glance at the Star Wars three and three quarter wall. Honestly, I'm not trying to be like an expert at any of this stuff. So I have really no idea what it is, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of a good look. They do have quite a bit going on. Everything from the Clone Wars to some of the three and three quarter black series and some of the older figures. I did have this one. I got this one as a Christmas gift from my sister when I was young and I love this figure. It'd be kind of cool to have that one in the Shadows of the Empire figure again, but that is just uh, a lot of Star Wars stuff right here. Coming through here, we have some Spawn McFarlane figures. So we have the Samurai Warriors set. I feel like some of the Kiss figures, some of the Alien. They do have some of the vehicles from the Alien set here. And then coming down, some of the carded alien figures. They have the Alien 3 from NECA. And then we have some of the, uh, I believe this is a McFarlane Alien Queen. Some NECA Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th. Some of the monsters, just some kind of random horror stuff. All throughout the section, some Alien vs. Predator. And some Predator NECA down there. So then we have a DC kind of yeah. ceiling wall right here. A ton of the NECA animated series, a couple of the DC multiverse figures. Just a lot of awesome stuff throughout here. I don't know if I've ever seen these, but these are Mezco Popeye figures. Those actually look freaking cool. Like not the 112, but like actually like just like vinyl figures. You got Pluto, you got Popeye, you got olive oil, quite a few different ones. And then I get on this side some more of the Batman counter figures. This is the top of their case here. A couple of the Batman figures from Mattel. Got Superpowers Aquaman. I thought this was absolutely awesome. So this is like an old vintage Superpowers Joker here with the Joker van. So we have a G.I. Joe. I honestly don't know what that is, but it looks awesome and it's freaking huge. Got a Castle Grayskull right here, complete, near complete. So that's really cool to see. Back here on this section, we have some Godzilla figures. A lot of just kind of loose, random stuff. Got some Star Wars loose figures all throughout here. Um, just to give you kind of a quick shot again. Not sure what everything is, but you guys can kind of see everything that they have. If you guys know what the Star Wars stuff is. Then we have some of the carded figures all throughout there. Just a little bit of Star Wars case here. All right, I just want to get this Star Wars back row here real quick. Just some Black Series figures. Baby Yoda. So there you guys go right there. 
Why? So we are all done at Road to the Past Collectibles. And if you guys have kind of followed my channel, you guys know I'm a huge craft beer guy and we are never in this side of town. And there's actually a really good brewery named Westside Brewing that is actually really close to the toy store. So we are actually going to stop there real quick. So we'll just give you a kind of quick little view, show you what we get, just kind of trying to infuse something a little bit different to my toy hunts. So uh, let's go see what Westside Brewing has. So the first beer I got is a pale ale with Cascade Hops, and it is freaking fantastic. This brewery is uh, actually really good. So I uh, highly recommend if you're in the Cheviot's west side of Cincinnati area, definitely check it out. The wife, she doesn't like to be on camera, but she right there got the summer ale, and that one's really good as well. All right, so beer number two here is actually just a small pour, because I just wanted to try it, but it's actually a tart amber, a sour amber, that they aged in a bourbon barrel. All right, and to finish off my day here at Westside Brewing, I actually just went ahead and got the Imperial Porter. So this is like a 12%, or sorry, 11% beer, a ton of roasted malt. If you're a fan of stouts and porters, and you like the higher alcohol content, a little bit of that burn, this is definitely one you want to try. This is unbelievably good. So obviously we are back home and I hope you guys enjoyed the footage from this little hunt today. Before we get to the haul portion of the video, I do want to give a huge shout out to Joe at Road to the Past Collectibles. Hopefully you guys saw in the footage just how awesome this store was. Honestly, it was just a real small little one room shop, but it's filled to the brim with amazing collectibles, pretty much from everything from G.I. Joe to wrestling to horror to Batman, Marvel. They have such a good mix of everything and I really hope you guys are in this that area check them out i have the links to their facebook page and their instagram in the description below and they are always updating it with new product that they are getting in so make sure you give them a like on facebook and a follow on instagram and if you're able to go check out the store and definitely try to give them support because it's an awesome store and now the part of the video that you're probably all waiting for and that is the haul portion and the first thing I'm gonna show you is the P.O. box that I picked up in the very beginning of the video. And what was inside this package is this McFarlane Detective Comics. Now this obviously is the blue and gray variant. Huge, huge, huge shout out to Adam Nathaniel, member of the Pence Pack, member of the Nerd Bar. He was super gracious enough to message me on Facebook, letting me know he had found a couple of these and asked if I wanted one. And I jumped all over the chance because apparently some places are calling this a chase figure. I know Big Bad Toy Store, the only way you could get it through them was to buy a full case and they only had one in it. But what I'm seeing posted on line of pictures are like like people are getting like eight and ten of these just on store shelves so i really don't know how limited it is i to me it doesn't sound like a chase that just sounds like a color variant but who knows if this is actually gonna be rare or not but i have yet to see this anywhere in my area so huge shout out to adam for picking this up for me i really 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 appreciate it and cannot wait to crack this open and get this in the batman collection and now for the pickups from road to the past collectibles and as you guys can probably guess from the footage i picked up quite a few of the legends of batman kenner series so the first one that i did pick up is the desert strike batman thought this this one looks really really cool kind of gives a lawrence of arabia kind of vibe there in the suit and then you get these awesome metallic weapons right there the next one i picked up is the cyborg batman again really really cool styling with the robotics here on the leg and then the cybernetic eye i think that looks awesome and then i also picked up the pirate captain joker again i just really love the styling i love that the freaking belt buckles the giant laughing smile and just an awesome looking piece and now i guess kind of maybe the centerpiece of the haul and that is the kenner Dark Knight collection, so the 89 line, Bat Jet. This thing is in unbelievable condition. This has never been opened. The only kind of even issue that it has is the heat kind of has gotten to the tape here and it's just kind of come off the packaging a little bit. The box outside of maybe just a little bit of wear like on the corners looks immaculate. And I am so freaking excited to have this in the collection. As you guys know, I'm trying to get all the Kenner line from the Dark Knight collection and the Returns collection. Super stoked to have a mint condition in box, never been opened, Bat Jet. So that does it for the haul portion, except for one thing, and I have to be completely honest with you guys, I made a huge mistake. I am talking, if we were in the universe of Star Trek, this is basically flying the Enterprise into a black hole. If we were in the Evil Dead universe, I basically read from the Necrocomicon, and now we have deadites everywhere trying to kill everybody. If this is the Marvel universe, then I pretty much just handed Thanos the Infinity Stones. If we were in the Hellraiser universe, I played with Pandora's box and now we have the Cenobites after us. 
I did go down to comics to games right before I started this hunt. Obviously, I didn't take any footage. There really wasn't anything new in the store from the last time I was there, which was three weeks ago. But I made a black hole purchase, which I obviously just teased right there. But you're going to have to wait to the next video to find out what that purchase was. So just a nice little tease right there for my next video. And honestly, that segues right into my ending. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on that next video. See what black hole that I have mistakenly fallen into and probably will not be able to get out of, unfortunately. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you guys didn't, give it a big thumbs down. And let me know in the comments what you guys are collecting. We do have the 2,000 subscriber giveaway coming up very, very shortly. So be on the lookout for that as well. Another huge shout out to Road to the Past Collectibles. Again, their information is in the links in the description below. So make sure you go check them out. And that is going to be it for me once again. Thank you guys so much for checking out these videos. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.